So you got your truck from Super Eagle, what's next? Use these two tools in order to effectively negotiate your rates from your dispatcher via your broker. Go.dat.com, which is a free demo. Uh, it tells you actually how many loads are coming from any given area. It tell you the rates that you're getting for those loads. You can use that rate and divide it by the miles and it'll give you how much you're gonna get paid per mile and just evaluate it with the actual loads coming out of there and see if, it, if it's lucrative. Another one is, is that.com. It tells you what, it breaks it down in four regions and tells you actually what is the average for dry van loads coming out of each, each region. Both of these tools I've used, it is very effective in order to negotiate my loads and I hope it will be effective for you too. Thank you. So in the prior video, I shared with you uh, the two tools I use in order to negotiate my loads. So now you have those tools. So what I wanna talk about next is your relationship between you and your dispatcher. In order to be successful here, you have to have a good relationship with your dispatcher. Uh, not all dispatchers are the same. So you have to understand this and know your limitations, how you wanna run, um, where you want to run and use your dispatcher as a tool uh, to be successful because your dispatcher is here for you. One of the reasons I really like this company is because you're not married to your dispatcher. Uh, I've, I've had dispatcher the last two, three months. I've had dispatcher the last one day. The whole thing about it is you have to know yourself, how you run, how you want to run, what you want to get paid in order to make yourself compatible with whatever dispatcher you're given. Uh, if you're not happy with your dispatcher, you also always can call the dispatcher manager and say, hey, I'm not happy with my dispatcher. Can you please give me one that I, I'm more compatible with? And they will always accommodate you. So have that in mind when you're trying to be successful. And that's at the end of part one. To next time, part two, hammer down.